No, shut up. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Joel and Randy's Texas Tea. I got all the all-stars this week in the house. Well, Lord, I didn't know we were all here. <laughs> mm, we are all here this week. That was I got Miss Randy to the, my left of me, across mm-hmm. the table. I've got uh, Chris. Woo, woo. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. She's or Mr. Sorry. Jackson, <laughs> if you're nasty. Or, Mr. Chris. Or Mr. Chris, if you're nasty. <laughs> Damn it, if you're just nasty, just call him Chris. Actually, (laughs) actually, Mm -hmm. we call him Alicat. Also, my new name is Sausage Biscuit. Sausage Biscuit. Mm. Because everyone, I love You might want to work on that Everyone likes a sausage biscuit. I'm sure they do. Or everybody likes some sausage Mm -hmm. in their biscuit. Mm -hmm. I got the sausage. And then to the other side of him is the glorious Miss Pinky. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Almost on time today. Almost on time, girl. girl only only 35 happened. minutes Techni- late. Technically, I was here <laughs> on time. This, and then I this was outside bitch of was supposed to take... No, no. Yeah, then where did you go? Specs. Oh, what? Already? <laughs> this bitch was supposed to take me to the goddamn doctor today. I'm glad I wasn't dying. <laughs> Yes, she showed me. My, my ambulance was in the well, shop. Ex, can, did you volunteer him or did he volunteer himself? I asked the bitch. Oh, she said, hey. and I said yes. Did and then I, put- I woke back up at 3 o'clock, mm-hmm. and I was like, are they still open? And and he said no. Can I ask a question? Was I heard that there was no time arranged. So if you didn't make there a time. There wasn't a real time arranged. Mm-hmm. So you, true enough. If true I enough, learned anything from dealing with Miss Pinky, you got to have a time. And then you do it an hour and a half later so that you can be there. Right, time. you have to oh, see, subtract so an hour get, and a half from when you want me to yes, show up. Yeah, exactly. And, and, so no, that was, and he was so, right on time. Yeah, so if you needed him to be here at, say, one thirty, tell him one thirty. No. no, I'm sorry. If you need him to be here at 3, tell him he needs to be here at one thirty. That way he'll be late at 3 and you'll be on time for your appointment. <laughs> That's Boom. how it works. <laughs> and don't plan, you know, mm-hmm. and. Mm-hmm. Had go have lunch and so how was everyone's week? You know, I had was invited to go dancing at Numbers mm-hmm. last Friday, and let me tell you something. By who? <laughs> okay. By Chris. Oh, by me. <laughs> well, he sent out a group text asking if anybody wanted to come, and I thought Pinky was going to go, and I was out with, of course. Miss David, why? What? David. Wait, why? Yeah. Really? He didn't even say She didn't that. do it right. Mm-hmm. She didn't do it right. You know, she didn't do it right. I was going to say his name, then the song. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. It's fine. You didn't know I was going to go there anyway. We did oh, not know so, you were going to go there. So, after David White dropped me off, I'm looking at the text message going, hmm, <laughs> I'm going to numbers. And she stumbled so off. I called, the called Uber, ran, rushed over to numbers. You know, it's been such a long time since I've been to a club that I forgot that you had to pay a cover t- cover charge. Uh, yeah, and I've when they said seven dollars, I said for what? <laughs> and she goes, "Oh, it's a cover charge." I said, "Oh." <laughs> That's funny. I, I thought I was just standing in line just because y'all were full or something. I didn't know I had to pay a cover charge. I went around with sure a line. Did. Oh, there was a little bit of a line when I got yeah. there, and that was like midnight, I think. Yeah, it was midnight mm-hmm. when I got there, so there was a little bit of a line. I'll have to call ahead. Mm-hmm. But um, let them know I'm coming so they can. I met Princess Leia, his friend. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. His, my friend James. I, his friend James. He was who, dressed as Princess, was dressed Leia. As Princess oh, Leia. Oh, how cool. Yeah. Very, very nice. Very sweet person. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. I have a Stormtrooper onesie I would have worn. Mm-hmm. I was looking for it when you texted me because mm-hmm. I was like, I was maybe going and then I was. So going. there was a theme. Mm-hmm. No. No, no there was no theme. No, there was no theme, but mm-hmm. I was like, oh, do you guys want to go to numbers? <clears throat> oh, by the way, my friend is dressed as, dressing as Princess Leia. Right. They only let him come out once a month. Well, it was also Comic Comic Palooza was in town at the same time. Oh, so I miss that was last week, he, which he I usually go to every year. But this year fell on Mother's Day, I and was Mother's Day is the busiest you. time of the year for the restaurant business, so I couldn't go. But yes. I had I had a good time. I think I danced until they you closed. You did. Wow. They just started playing all this I music from sh- my teenage years, and I just couldn't stop dancing. Well, that I was like, is Joel a dancer? Is Joel and I a dancer? Mm-hmm. Then I invited you to dance, and I was like, I get nervous around new friends and clubs. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to go ignore him because mm-hmm. I don't want him to think like, <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't want him to like, pay mm-hmm. me too much attention. So I went, I went away. Mm-hmm. And you just were dancing your ass off. I, I couldn't help it. I was hurting the next day, though. So I was, <laughs> were you really? Yes. I, my, I mean, I 
I did some moves I shouldn't have done. Mm, right. <laughs> I've been there. Honey. I did a couple moves that I shouldn't have yeah, done, I and I mm, back legs. I was I was hurting, and I had to work a double. That's why I quit. Now, girls, years. you mm. are over fifty. Mm, I know. And You're I a was, woman of a certain. But there age. were a lot of people over fifty. On he the was dance tearing up the dance floor. Mm-hmm. Was, that's the cool thing about numbers. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a there's a huge age yeah. range. Yeah. So oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Mm-mm. Oh, I used to go when I, I want to go really bad. I think Pinky. I think we need to get Pinky to go. Mm-hmm. I used to go when I was very young, and uh, the music was amazing. Well, we was, should tell the audience what numbers the 80s. is, because it's the longest-running club of its kind mm-hmm. in the U.S. Yes, it's it is. Kind. Everyone it's, it's from kind. David Bowie to like, Depeche Mode to... The, skinny all Puppy. Of, skinny Puppy. All kinds of bands Less, have played there. I feel like that last one is... Mm-hmm. A little bit separated from the first couple. Mm-hmm. You would be right. <laughs> you would be right. Well, but no, they do play, mean, a mi- they play a mix yeah. of industrial oh, definitely. and alternative. No, yeah, definitely. Exactly. Skinny Puppy is it was cute. But they had a lot of, they well, no, had a lot of very remember. famous people awesome. play. And I think they've been around since 1970. Like so is it a show space and club? It's a club. It's a club. Like, there was a stage. Yes. But there is it's a like stage. House of Blues. Very then. small stage. Well, but I think they've been there since 1973, I think. But... But you said the longest running club of its kind, it so I'm wondering the what running mm-hmm. club of some sort. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering what classification mm-hmm. of club that is. Mm-hmm. As far as is it like a when club I was going in the '80s, it was mix? completely emo. Well, but goth, right. they call it alternative, kind of alternative goth, yeah, that so kind of goth. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it was it was that type of club. Well, shout out to Numbers Girl, you just got some free advertisement, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Hey, it's a cool place. If you're it in is. Houston, you should go. You really should go. You really should go if you're in Houston. Not a sponsor. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah. so what had happened to you, Miss Chris? Well, he just took my thunder. That, well, I didn't mean to. You Your thunder and my thunder co-mixed. That, that was the high point. That's yeah. The, we, well, we then, we have, then we have to move on mm-hmm. to Charles Pinky. Um, you know I live in Crosby. Ain't nothing not to a me. whole lot of fascinating. <laughs> oh, I lied. Um, I actually, I this past week, I one, I binge watched all three seasons of Queen of the South. Mm-hmm. Amazing, Wait, what's that? love oh, her. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, it's Wait, a show about drug cartels. Oh, um, what are those? and I this past weekend. Uh, on Saturday, I went to see Miss Saigon at the. Hobby oh Center. my God! What? Mm-hmm. You saw Miss Saigon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait. You did not watch my Instagram? Was there a helicopter? No. Yes, there was a helicopter. Was there an amazing helicopter. helicopter. Wait, is this playing really, in really good. It was. It was. There's season box tickets. Wait, wait, where is it playing? The Hobby Center. This is like my favorite musical of all time. I was a little disappointed. Oh, the tour. I saw it on Broadway. I think the tour. Well, why, why didn't you like it? Um, it was just underwhelming, and I think it had to, a lot to do with the generational separation because it's it really really ties to the whole that whole Vietnamese oh, Vietnam War. Is it still War. playing there? Um, I think I think our tickets are for the um the second week, so the the last week that it's in. Oh. So each show we have box seats for all know, of. I didn't even know it was touring. Ooh, somebody's no. growler is going out. Uh, Somebody sure. just got a growler it message. Was, was that, that a growler? I, 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 I recommend. I recognize how do you qualify? How do you qualify that it was a but growler? That's, yeah, but that's Galaxy and that's, that's iPhone. So they're different sounds. Uh, sure, yeah, Are yeah. they? Are growler no, sounds different? It, well, it just uses whatever your generic, your default. Because it, 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 it has a certain. It has a certain. It sounded exactly like a growler. Mine sounds like that one. What does it sound like? Exactly like. Whoever's when yeah, I was going to say mine normally sounds like that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> anyway, mm-hmm. <laughs> so you didn't like Miss Saigon? Yeah, I, I it was, and I, I feel like it was relatively well executed. I just wasn't wowed by any of it. Like I'm a big, wait, I'm a big musical fan. So wait, you you're probably like sort of the Wicked type. Well, Wicked Rent. Um, I haven't seen mm-hmm. Rent. Kinky Boots. Well, I love Kinky Boots. If I that, might like Kinky Boots. But I saw the movie. I've seen Adina, Adina on Broadway. Adina on Broadway. I Rent saw just Hedwig seems and the Angry Inch on Broadway. To me, that old um, 526,000 minute song. Kinky Ooh, Boots girl, on Broadway. Man. I haven't seen a lot of those. Mm-hmm. But I did see Wicked and it just wasn't my thing. I just I, I, just, I saw it once. I, saw I really it at the liked the, Center. the music. Um, the music in Miss Saigon. I liked it. Mm-hmm. I, and I think that's what I just didn't like. The style that it's mixed in is very dialogue oriented numbers. Interesting. So it was just kind of like oh. me. They weren't 
performances. Like the American Dream number was super, super duper good. Mm-hmm. Plus the um the engineer, as they call him, was chubby. Mm-hmm. Well, the last time oh, I go. saw yeah. a musical, I saw Cabaret with a Miss Leah Thompson as the oh, lead wow. actress. I love Leah Thompson. And it was Leah actually, Thompson is? no, no. Uh, Caroline in the City. She yes. Was a Caroline in the City. She was, sure. she was oh, and Back to the Future. And yes. the girl. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the ingenue uh, Howard and the, the Duck. Mm-hmm. Howard, Howard the oh. Duck. Nobody yes, wants, Howard the Duck. Nobody wants to remember. You know what? I, I want to remember I, I Howard the Duck. I Thank secretly you. loved, I have to admit, I secretly loved Howard the Duck. What's it was so cheesy that I loved it. It was I, cheesy. It came out in mm-hmm. a period of time in my life when I was young. It, it was, was pleasure. Pleasure. Yes, guilty yeah. pleasure. It was, nice. um, it was weird to see an animated I was very disturbed by seeing her in bed with a duck. I'm like, Mm, I'm it was a weird movie. It was never a be weird a thing. thing. Bestiality should never be a thing. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I think they they could fight back and protest if they wanted to. <laughs> if they weren't getting something out of it. Mm-mm. It's not an orgy until there's a goat. <clears throat> so what? So what? What's going on with the news? <laughs> <What's> on- <laughs> What's going on with the news? Anybody got any news they want to share? Well, I do. Wanna, I girl, do want to throw this in here because uh, we talked about this a little bit. House Bill thirty one seventy two in, Ooh, in the yes. Texas Legislature was pretty much destroyed, uh, and it was destroyed by the wait. LGBTQ caucus, which I did not know we had one in the Texas in the Texas Congress. Formed, by, by the way, by five lesbians. Can you tell us what the bill is? 3172 was the Religious Freedom Bill. Oh, right. If you followed the last show, we talked uh, about it yeah. at length. Yeah, yeah. it was the Chris Religious Freedom Bill. did not. Yeah. yeah. The Religious Freedom I Bill. I just want our viewers to mm-hmm. catch our viewers. Mm-hmm. The Religious <laughs> Freedom Bill that was just <laughs> horrific. And it would allow professionals, lawyers, doctors, plumbers, girl, plumbers, anybody licensed would be allowed to discriminate because of their religion. So I just wanted to say thank you, lesbians. Yay, and, and lesbians. Yes, lesbians. lesbians. Yes. Five lesbians formed a caucus, destroyed it. Now, here's the problem. There's another bill just like it that's a little bit more watered down. Mm-hmm. That they're trying, to, they're trying to rush through the Senate again. These mm-hmm. people are relentless. I mean, what is it about... They don't have anything better to do what with the time. I'm sorry. Is... Why do you give a fuck what I'm doing in my bedroom? Because God cares. I God think... does care. I think it's one of those. Don't get right it though. twisted. But let me tell you something. God doesn't want you talking about what you do in your bedroom. That is not a conversation that He wants you to have with anybody. Um, God cares. And guess what? God. God wants. Does care, but God also. What does he doesn't care? want you Can I ask a question? discussing your business with anybody uh, else. Does he That's really your care? God no. wants missionary position to make fucking kids. I know you're being silly. I'm not being silly. You are being silly, <laughs> and I know that you're being uh, blasphemous. But uh, the truth <laughs> is, this God <laughs> does <laughs> care. Did you? But t- God wants. Did you talk you to know, God? Did He tell you what He cared about? I talk about? to God every night. Let me okay. tell you something. I'm still a homosexual. I'm still alive. God loves everybody. So, that's not uh, what God if told you want to be gay, be gay. But guess what? You don't talk to God about sex. <laughs> and you don't talk to folks about sex because it's nobody's business. If you're straight, you, right. you, know, but, you shouldn't. But you're the God that you're talking about is not the God that they're talking about. There's only one God, baby. Okay, well, clearly. Well, clearly. Does, we all what? have different conceptions of what exactly. that God is. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just polyphemic. because you say your God thinks viewpoint. that doesn't no, mean no, 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 God no, no, actually no. thinks that. Not my God. Mm-hmm. Our God. And let me tell you well, something. Well, you can't speak for our God. Oh, yes, I can. No, you can't. When I say that God does not in your care religion that you're homosexual, you can't say that. He still loves you. But I can poly- say if that poly- with all my no, heart. You can't. If I'm polytheistic, it, then the other person who says so, the, the other, other person, person who says is God a, cares if you're a homosexual, I'll be is wrong. a fool. Mm-hmm. Is a fool. Okay, and guess it wrong. You Are got, you advocating you got the, for that person? You got the card on God. I got it. I got the you card got, that you says speak right God to him. loves us all. So you should write Act 3. I do speak okay. to him every got night. It. And God loves us all. Mm-hmm. I have that card. I have a different card. and it doesn't. Oh, so you out. want God to hate gay people? <laughs> Is that your card? I, I, 
I don't think anybody wants to read that pretty open to interpretation concept there. So y'all are advocating hate of gay people. No, we're advocating that there is more than one religion that exists, and in Buddhism there are seven gods. Bitch, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about about in your religion. Loves us all. What is wrong with saying that? I don't Nothing. understand why y'all no are really saying you're trying to speak. God loves you said us. that I'm anyone speaking. who believes there's more than one God is a fool. You are speaking for some anyone that doesn't God. believe that God loves us all is a fool. All right, that's what I'm saying. This is I'm not even going to raise but that the move on. I'm, I'm not even going to raise the, the move on card because y'all need to move on. <laughs> <laughs> and this was this was supposed to be news. This was not supposed to be a discussion. What? On. what? I don't understand your. That's just folly for you to say you against me. I, you want gay people to be persecuted? No, okay. just think you're I said move on. Okay, you literally don't there. get what I was trying to do. Well, I, get I said saying. move on, bitches. Oh, move on. Now, if I have to snap move my fingers, on. we're moving on. on. We're We've moving got on. More news. <laughs> We've got more news. Everybody's getting too heated. Red is wiping his brow. Chris is raising his drink. Look like he about well, to throw a No, I love you. Well. No, hey, I room. get very passionate about some mm-hmm. topics. I, 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 I love that y'all get passionate, but y'all, I feel like y'all get passionate about the wrong thing. <laughs> I do too. I don't mean well, no I, think, I think it gets misconstrued in misconstrued. One, anyway. one thing, I, I'm, unfortunately, this was my other thing because I know we're going right back down the same road. <laughs> oh, heaven's It seems Troy. that the religious right wants their rainbow back. From the gay community. What the fuck? <laughs> they are tired of yeah, the gay community it, using a symbol of God's damnation of mankind as a thing of peace and love. Wait, God, a symbol of Not God's damnation? damnation. What? Well, you know, after the flood. Yeah, but that's, that, that's, but no, that's, 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 that's his prom- prom- That's his promise that he would not fuck the Yeah, world. exactly. That's a promise. But for some reason, the religious right seems to think that that's some kind of damnation of me and sins or like, something like rainbows that. Not no, 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 it's, no. A, it's a cleansing of yeah. the earth, mm-hmm. and it's a sig- it signifies mm-hmm. that all is well now. Mm-hmm. You may repopulate. You, know you may I, re- you know, no, no, use it. Did rainbows <laughs> not exist before the flood? Like, did did science was the science different back then? I have no idea. Girl, I have no idea. You, know, you said I, the S word. There was mist. But all I can say is mist. There's mist, but no rainbows. Now, no rainbows. I'm not, <laughs> when I say this, I don't mean that Christians said that they wanted the, the rainbow back. I said the religious right wants no, no, the no, no. rainbow back. No, I'm not, I'm not and all twisted. This is now. all just becoming so That's ridiculous. That's just too much. Okay, you know what? You can't have the rainbow back. The you rainbow can, belongs to everybody. It belongs to everybody. Guess what? Mm-hmm. It's something that occurs in nature. Mm-hmm. You can't claim it. Mm-mm. No, it's a rainbow. Mm-mm. Yeah, and we have it on our flag. We have it on a box of Lux- Lucky Charms. Dude, I, love it. It. I love it. I love it that we. Have took, it. I love it that we. Rainbow. Took we have a, rainbow. a dog called Rainbow Bright. I mean, I, come on. We, we have don't a take dog. It. Yeah, Rainbow Bright. Right. We don't right. take it all the way. No, we fucking took it. I'm fucking proud of it. My Care Bears, how are they supposed to use their little rainbow patches when they when they throw love out into the world? The My Little Pony is Rainbow Dash. You cannot have the rainbow back. Stop asking for things that you cannot have back that didn't belong to you in the first place. <laughs> right. And my bowels in the rainbow don't belong mm-hmm. to you. And the reason, in my mind, you know, there was an actual, there's an actual person who created this flag for mm-hmm. the purposes of representation of homosexuality. Mm-hmm. I don't remember his name. But I'm sure that he had the best intentions when he did in my mind, it's because he wanted people to understand that we're united yes. as we have many, all colors many of the rainbow. Colors. We have many yes. different colors mm-hmm. of the rainbow. And that represents people's lives mm-hmm. in general. The rainbow It means everything. Is everything. Just mm-hmm. Except mm-hmm. Yeah. people yeah, for who they talk about. Okay everybody. I, and it's not about a, a, a color of a person's no. skin. Mm-hmm. It's about... The color of Ideology. a person's heart. heart. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah. mm-hmm. I will say they Good can have job, they can really. have the the rainbow that, that it occurs like. in nature mm-hmm. back. They can have that symbolism because the original gay flag actually used to feature fuchsia. Oh mm-hmm. and no longer does. Mm-hmm. Isn't that your favorite? What the hell color? happened to my fuchsia on the rainbow? It used to be it used to have pink and doesn't. Mm-hmm. Isn't that your favorite color? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my phone in the background that always rings. I remember. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Doesn't I remember my name. Pink. 
But I know yeah, Fuchsia. Yeah, the original had... Well, Pink is Fuchsia. Can, can we... I know that Pink is a... I have color. a news item I want to bring yeah, up. Yeah, go ahead. Can we sure. talk about the abortion bills? We yes, might not, I'm a little afraid of those. We might not all be on the same page, but I think I'm it's, a little afraid of I those. I think it's good to bring up. I think... Uh, what I'm, and I am going to bring up Randy's point again. When they start a touch... When they start touching abortion, gay marriage will be right afterwards. The fact that Georgia and Alabama now have bans on ab- and Georgia's is horrific. You can get ninety nine years in prison. What? Yes, you can get ninety nine years in prison if you get an abortion in the and, state but, of Georgia. And, well, I don't know about the wait. The, no, that's the first one. Yeah, and it's mm. after. It's actually after just when the heart is beating, which is after mm-hmm. two weeks. Like you might. You could miss a period. If you're a woman, you could miss a period. Mm, yeah, exactly. And all of a sudden, you can't fucking abort this, the thing of cells that's growing after two fucking weeks. Yeah, exactly. That's not a human that's, yet. It's not a human yet. I, and there's some fine line. There's some. There's a fine line, and you might disagree. There's well, a very fine line. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's what I want to say. I don't know where the here's line is. Here's what I want to say. I think as long as it's in the woman's body, it's her right to do whatever she wants. Mm-hmm. I'll reiterate my point. And my point is this. That, whatever a woman does with her body is up to her. It's behind, and what happens to her consequently is what happens. It's none of my business. Mm-hmm. When does it stop becoming her body? It's always her body. Mm-hmm. And if she wants to do what she wants to do, let her do it. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. Because I- it's not my business. I don't mm-hmm. think there's enough focus on human and to human. As, on a, the as, a, as a Christian, I will not deny you your rights to your own body. Yes. Because that's your body. And you deal with that, that's between you and whatever happens next. And for me, it would be, for me personally, that means that's between you and God. There is a weird fine line somewhere. There's a line Well, I don't agree with murdering children. Well, and nobody agrees, late term, late nobody term agrees mur- with murdering children. Exactly, Manson exactly. Did, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Right. I I am pro-choice because Manson I know what it means. What this will it lead to? This will lead to no choice. You're either pro-choice or no choice, and that's what I'm talking about. Because eventually, we're not going to have choices. Late term, if late we term start abortions. telling the go- right. the government starts telling us what we can and can't do, Joel's right. There's a, with a our slippery bodies. slope. Yeah. I have We're to draw the line. Slope. As long as it's in the women's body, she has she has a complete right to Let's her focus fucking on body. She can do whatever she wants. People to. on people violence. So you know, women, we, we let's get our we shit together. together. Yeah. Before we start, and no, know. we do not believe in murdering children. No, none of us believe in murdering children, but I do believe in the rights of human beings. I don't. I don't mind. A, I sound spanking every now and then. Some of y'all, y'all, some of y'all kids need some spanking. Right. But don't drown them in the bathtub. But don't murder them. I mean, I like no, to murder. Don't drown I like to the punch people mm-hmm. every once in a while. You're not children. Yeah, exactly. Don't punch a baby. Don't punch. I don't mind punching a child. I don't punch mind punching a child. I'll punch a child. What? I won't punch him, but like if they're behind me at the grocery store, I'll like turn around and donkey punch him with my elbow. Of course he's kidding. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm not kidding. I will punch a child. I turn around and elbow a child, in the forehead. And child, you don't like kids? There was, there, was a, there was a time, <laughs> this little, little monster. Just elbow him and pretend it was an accident. Walked up to me while I was carrying a tray of food and grabs my leg, knocks everything out of my hand. His mama says, oh, that's cute. I said, your little monster literally just knocked food, could have gotten himself hurt. Next time, I'm going to trip his ass. Oh, shit. I will trip a kid at the grocery store. And opinion. she threw a fit. How you going to talk to my child like that, boy? Ooh. How you going to let your child run around a busy restaurant, messing with everybody, crying, throwing stuff all over the place, and you think that's cute? I will punch your child. What do you have to much. say, Pinky? Um, normally, like, if I see something like that happening or, or a bratty kid, I'll, I will, like, if I've got, like, things in my hands, I generally, like, Turn around in such a way that my elbow strikes him on the forehead, and I just kind of pretend it was an accident. Wow! Mm-hmm. You guys are like, vicious. oh, excuse me. But mm-hmm. if you like, if you punch him, you can't deny that. If you elbow you them, yes, no, yeah, it's totally, you totally the deniable. With middle schoolers, oh no, they need a punch it too. I will punch a middle schooler in the face. Yeah, or when you they start walking up to you, talking, kick the bottom of their shoe when they're walking in front of you, trying to crack jokes <laughs> about what you're wearing or. How you look or what have you? I, will, I wish I, I wish I've never experienced that. Mm-mm. I will punch no middle really? schoolers with what you are. Middle schoolers are the worst. Mm-mm. I've experienced that with you. 
Oh no, middle school children are the worst. My my nemesis is Pinky. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You are always making fun of me. Mm -hmm. Like why? I don't get it. Uh -uh. It's it's right there on your face. No, you're making fun of me all the time. Mm -hmm. It's right there on your face. Well, (laughs) you couldn't get any better segue. Uh, then mm-hmm. punching a child to the story I have to tell from my news, honey. What's that? This substitute teacher. Oh, shit. It's going viral on YouTube. Is that had her wig? Another one snatched. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, by oh, a oh, high oh. school student. Mm-hmm. Oh, in the video. And I tried to look up, uh, research who the teacher was, who the student mm-hmm. was, and I couldn't get anything. She was but really good the video too. is just. <laughs> It's very sad because this woman is a substitute teacher, mm-hmm. and so she's telling this child, act, this child is clowning in her class, she's, sit down, sit down, you can see her, and you can hear the audio, sit down, and he's just wiggling around and dancing in front mm-hmm. of her, like a, like an elementary student, mm-hmm. and this is a child in high school, mm-hmm. and then she turns her back because oh. she's going to get the principal. I saw and that he video on Facebook. Snatched her wig. I saw that video on Ooh, Facebook. Snatched her wig, girl. Just you don't took, snatch a woman's wig, and shame. especially a black woman. Oh and no! Then, oh, and, oh, then, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. and then he was dancing with her wig. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, so he what? knew it was a wig. See, that's, that's what a, a donkey child punch needs to get right punched. <laughs> that's a donkey punch right and there. That's not a, well, a donkey punch. punch. That's a throw. No, that's a punch to the throat. That's a throat seventeen-year-old child. That's what a child needs to get punched. Punch to the throat. That's what I'm talking about. Baby, donkey punch is something totally different. And I don't want to hear no mama talk about, don't you, don't you put your hand on my baby. Your baby's 17. I punched him in the throat. Yes. Shut the fuck up. He snatched my motherfucking wig. <laughs> and I'm sorry, back in the day, women used to secure their wigs. There wasn't a bobby pin in that wig. There wasn't nothing gluing that wig down. She the wig could have caught that, that wig. We need, we need to probably get some drag queens out in the neighborhood <laughs> to start educating these women on how to wear a proper Thank wig. You. Because I've been on the bus many times looking at a woman with a wig on going, girl, did you not... <laughs> where's your lace front, honey? Well, I was watching... <laughs> Wait, where's, I was, what? I where's your lace, lace front? front? To the make first... it look like it's... In. The first place I saw the story mm-hmm. was on the talk. Wait, Joe, mm-hmm. have you done drag? I have seen enough drag. Them. I have been no, around enough drag queens. Everybody knows where lace front is. I, I have never heard of that before. I have been so in a like room kids. full of drag queens they getting dressed. Anything. I have seen all of this. Yes, a good yeah. lace front and a nice foundation will blend that all <laughs> yes. in. Yes, man. Anyway, they win. talked about that on you the talk. Some time and she and should have had some it. kind of uh, mm-hmm. foundation for that wig. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Mm-hmm. The point is, <laughs> this child should not have put his hands on this woman. And I think, you know, everybody's like, he only got suspended. He should be expelled. He should have been expelled. And frankly, I think, just like Sharon Osbourne said, she should sue him. Mm -hmm. Because that's assault. That is assault. I agree. That is assault. And tried like like an adult. Mm -hmm. Just like he would if you did that to any little girl. He's 17 years old. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you'd embarrassed some girl in that class Mm -hmm. in in such a violent way. I will tell you He would have been prosecuted by their parents. I will tell you this. There was one video, and this video is a little older. I think this video is three years old. There was a video where there were girls in the cafeteria, and this guy is pulling all their hair. They all have ponytails, and he's pulling all their hair, and he comes to the black girl, pulls her hair, and she reaches around and smacks the shit out of him and knocks him out. She got literally, knocked, she the, got fuck knocked the fuck out. And everybody went, woo! <laughs> <laughs> it was about, that's what she should have done. She should have just slapped the, shit out, slapped of the shit out of him. <clears throat> that's what well, she should have done. Mm-hmm. If you grab my wood, that's her exactly back what would have happened. And she was in motion mm-hmm. at the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, that had been a refund. Oh, that would have been, been snatched. It. Oh, that would have been a. It has been out. Mm-mm. That's a three sixty slap right there. That's you a just turn around. Mm-hmm. No, I hate no, him. No, he hit the floor. Pinky's elbow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, got sorry. Heel kick like pow right to the stomach. Uh, uh, hi, Pinky. How are you? Hi, y'all. So, how, doing story? origami. How was your day going? Good, good. I heard you um, woke up at three o'clock. Well, I woke back up at three o'clock. Oh, you? I stayed. Back. I stayed up all night. Ladies and gentlemen, and this then, is how Joel and Randy, Texas Pete, talks about the news. We talked about a little <laughs> bit of news. We debated about it for like God, twenty minutes. <laughs> we got down with the news. We, throw, we throw in our shit, and then somebody gets slapped. <laughs> and we, we blame it on the bitch for not tying her wig in, right? 
No, no we're, we're not. We're not blaming her. We're not blaming we're her. We're not blaming her. All we're saying <laughs> is, is that maybe we should. Somebody should call a couple of drag. She needs a mentor. And, and teach she her how needs, to wear. That child needs to be charged. She needs. Assault. She needs a boxing coach Speaking and a, an image coach. <laughs> Speaking of drag queens, when do we get to James Charles, bitch? Talk about it. We're going to get to that in the second half of the show. Oh, shit. Are we ready for a break? We are ready for a break because Act 2 will be coming up here in a minute. Okay. Everybody. Stay tuned. Get ready for a a sloppier. It's about to get real. A sloppier, more liquid us momentarily. (laughs) Literally. Okay, bitches. We're back. Girl, we're back. Let's, Let's get into some. The drinks are full. The drinks are full. We are a little bit. Everybody's feeling good. Oh hell yeah! Are y'all feeling good? I'm let's, feeling let's good. Let's get some, some tea and some shade, Texas style, right now. Mm-hmm. Tea time. I want to go straight into it. Let's go. Let's talk about Tatiana Westbrook Thank you. and that James, whatever his name, guy. James Charles. <laughs> See, y'all know James this. Who? Mm-hmm. James Charles. Mm-hmm. You know what's really funny is my name is Charles James. Don't make this about you. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Uh, the names made it about me. Mm-hmm. All right, girl. <laughs> but but we, we try to, and I'm sorry, Miss Westbrook. Okay, James Charles is a fashion YouTube blogger. Mm-hmm. He has 60 million followers. He's pretty fucking huge. Mm-hmm. I don't know any about, and I don't know anything about this shit, but he's pretty big. He was... His, he was a protege of Tati Westbrook, who, who doesn't have as many followers, but she is a little bit older. She's like in his, her 30s. And mm-hmm. she sort of showed him the ropes. Mm-hmm. And she put out this video. Everybody knows about this. She put out this video basically denouncing him, saying he's a piece of shit. He, um, uh, pre- he's a predator on straight straight people. Mm-hmm. And he, uh, he, ba- he denouncing his character, basically. Well, that's you know, him defaming and he's him. lost defaming him, and he's since then. This video is huge. He's lost three million followers, which has never been heard of before. Yes, but here's the thing: um, her video was forty five minutes long. It was, and oh, it was very monotone. I'm like, oh, I can't watch forty five. Like, minutes if you're selling this, yourself, this is not going to have as many followers. Just let the bitch. <laughs> it just it would have taken me. Ten minutes to let the bitch have it yes. all of the day. Say oh, ten minutes. But okay. you have to do forty-five minutes. That's, oh my gosh! Ooh. All I can tell y'all mm. is if you've suffered for forty-five minutes to this video, I don't know. Y'all should sue her for your life back. <laughs> exactly. Seriously, because I listened to about Mm-mm. twelve minutes Mm-mm. and I was ready. To you went twelve jump minutes off the balcony. If there were one, you were I twelve would have. minutes, girl. We you were twelve were minutes. I was here with y'all. It was girl, really twelve, 12 minutes. minutes. I went and went to the. I went to the restroom. I oh, it seemed hair. like it I'm, seemed like twelve minutes. Mm. Maybe it was but nine. But one of her claims, okay, one of, <laughs> one of her claims is that one of her issues is that he's selling a competing product of hers. Like nobody fucking cares about that. But her other claim is he is a sexual predator, mm-hmm. and she's kind of tying into the Me Too movement and sort of. Associating him with that, and I'm uh, this actually this the public is sort of going with this. I mm-hmm. mean, he's uh, three million followers is a lot. That so, to lose so three million people, followers, so is a she lot. definitely has people listening to her. Mm-hmm. Well, and no, I don't I don't know what to think about this. I'm no attorney, but isn't that defamation of character if he has if she doesn't have she's the receipts? She's got receipts, bitch. She does. She's, she got, does. Receipts. Uh, she's got receipts. She said. So then that. why are we hating on her and not him? <clears throat> Okay, here's where it's legitimized. Here's where I find. Why are we what? Why are we hating on her instead of. We're not hating on her. Okay, so here's what I found very funny. We were watching, we decided to watch the rebuttal video. We hate it. We're hating on her because her video is 45 minutes and she's fucking terrible. We watched the rebuttal video with James. Now, he lost 3 million followers, right? So his video, his follower. His rebuttal video gets 45 he, he, million he, views. He made $100,000 off of this video. That is so 45 million views. Crazy. So he, they in response to her video. I agree with you, Pinky. I, I said that earlier. Mm-hmm. Anyway, go ahead. In response to her video, he gets 45 million views. Can, can I ask like, a large, can, yes. Can I ask a bigger question, though? Mm-hmm. Because she, she brings up a good point, And mm-hmm. I don't know where the line is. Like, she's claiming he's a sexual predator. Like to me, he's he's preying on straight men who are over the age of 
consent. So where is the line of what is okay and what isn't okay? Because people have actually posted, like uh, YouTube influencers have actually posted their private messages with him, and he's just saying the things that they've posted have been embarrassing, but they're just like things that I would post to somebody. Yeah, yeah. they're so. Where is the his, where is taking the advantage of their their male? And by the way, like mm-hmm. their male, like leading with their dick. Mm-hmm. He's, yeah. saying he's he's opportunizing. He's capitalizing he's opportunizing. on that. He's capitalizing and on he's that. It's not morally annoying and maybe annoyingly persistent. Yeah, and it's morally maybe a little crooked, but it's not illegal. It's he's not victimizing them. No, he's not victimizing anybody. No, and he has not drugged anybody or had sex with them or anything like that. That yeah, we know. He's of. Not yeah, that we know of. Them. And yeah. as far as I'm concerned, I don't understand. Like I said, here's what I find funny. She's in her thirties, and she's been doing this for quite. Now she's one of those people, and I've, I've, with I've, her man. I've been doing a little bit of research. Uh, oh, she's one you? of the first YouTubers to start mm-hmm. doing this kind of thing on YouTube. Right. So there's actually a group of people in their thirties who started when they were in their teens and twenties, right? Trying when to YouTube get to that was point. just starting to take off and everything else, yeah. and they made it happen so that James and the rest can grow a following and be as huge as they are. So she's actually, she did help him get to where she, and she doesn't deny that. And like she said, he lives right down the road. If he had a problem, he could have, he should have came to her. And actually, if she had a problem with him, she should have gone on a video. She should have read him to his face and then made a video Unless if she it wanted to. Exactly. And, and, that's, and, that's, and five pardon, fucking seconds. And mm-hmm. pardon me, guys, that's where Pinky and I, I think, agree on mm-hmm. one thing. Mm-hmm. This is a conspiracy to make more money mm-hmm. and to gain about more that. followers. Because mm-hmm. what are we doing right now? Pinky, we're giving them the attention. Exactly. They're about yeah, to exactly. get at least one more view. And we've all said that. So mm-hmm. my question is where... Okay, my question comes back to toxic masculinity. And gays can buy into that. There, there's, a, there's a certain element of gay mm-hmm. that can kind of be sort of evil in a way. Yeah, there and is. That's that's mm-hmm. what I want to tie it back to. Like, mm-hmm. what, what is... Where is the line that it's okay and it's not okay? Well, the line is pretty simple. If somebody says no, they mean no. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The same way it that's, is with straight people. That's pretty, if you say pretty yes, simple. You're, right. if, you're, if you say no yes, means you have a girlfriend, no. you're the one in the wrong, not me. When, I, when I've taken <laughs> straight guys to gay bars, and they're like, well, what if a guy touches me or what have you? Say no. Say no or right. just say no. Me I'm not gay. Hand. Thank you. Thank you for buying me a drink decline, or yeah. what have you. But <laughs> no means no. And you then, know, by the way, learn from that because y'all do the same thing with women. Exactly. And they don't exactly. want to touch you. And I'm not <laughs> advocating assault, <laughs> but mm-hmm. if a man touches your dick, mm-hmm. hey, it's it's on. Yeah, exactly. And if you get punched in the throat mm-hmm. after like technically grabbing the, somebody's dick, that's what? assault. Terry Crews you are, you are Terry defending yourself. Already, sexual, Terry Crews. Touching someone's dick is what? Sexual assault? Yes. yes. It's assault in general. Terry yes, Crews already went through assault. this from Brooklyn 911, the big muscle guy. Yeah, Terry Crews, he went through this when he was at a party right. with a bunch of producers, and one of the producers grabbed him by oh, the dick. his producer, actually. Mm-hmm. Grabbed him by the dick. And you just, you no, know, you just, that's not, that's a no no. If you grab a man's ass and you get punched in the face, fuck you. Yeah, you exactly. Deserve you it. deserve it. it. And that's a gay man or a If he's not man. a stripper mm-hmm. and he's not there on display for you, mm-hmm. and even then, most of the time, if you're a dancer, you shouldn't be putting, and, Straight guys know this better than gay guys do. If you're at a strip club, you don't touch the dancers. Mm-hmm. You tip them. Yes, you do not true. touch. Mm-hmm. They can touch you. If you're at a strip now, club, and you're getting, what, uh, if you're me, getting a lap dance, you, you are not something. to touch the ladies. I don't know what gay bar you've been to, but every stripper gets groped. But if, mm-hmm. and if you're a straight guy game, at a bar. Wait, but you're tipping them. Yeah. yeah. But what I I'm, never tip what a I'm, stripper that I grow. What I'm <laughs> what I'm saying is that especially, like, mm-hmm. not even under those circumstances, should they put their hands on you. And if you're a straight guy and you've ever been to a straight strip club, you know better than to touch somebody. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm kidding. And, I did tip the stripper that I groped, but mm-hmm. still, gay bars are different. Mm-hmm. You know that is strippers, true. Strippers, Manuel really appreciated no, that, by the way. But strippers know that they're going to be groped. 
Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, they're going to get phone numbers. And most numbers. of those guys are they're straight anyway. They're going to get phone numbers. I they're think there's gonna, a difference. Sometimes I'll they're tip hookers. the AIDS family. <laughs> I can't have this feeling get, like men can. Some, one time I tipped a napkin. Sometimes mm. they're going to get odd things. You tipped a mm. napkin? You tipped a napkin. They can't feel yeah. the difference. One time. <laughs> you're like, honey, you're pre-trimming all over the place. Here, put this in there. I got a mm. handful of cock and tipped a napkin. Mm. Mm-mm. Maybe when I was like <laughs> 19 Mm-mm. at the mining company. I got. <laughs> oh, I miss up. I'm, I'm not doing I answer, miss the man. mining company. I Shout out. Seven. The one time that I. <laughs> the one time that I was about to get married. Wait, and what? Yeah, I was about to. You know, this was 97. I was about to get married. Wait, that what? makes two of us. Rewinds. Let's make this well, all Well, bitch, about. let her finish the story. Mm-hmm. And then we'll rewind. Bitch. Ooh. Ooh. Bitch, please. Bitch, it's not on. Mm. But the one time that it's just I was on. about to get married, I, I was about like to cat. propose to the man that I loved at the time. Wait, and, what? Yeah. Girl, seriously, and let the man tell the story. <laughs> Why don't you let me tell the story? I'm trying to tell the story. <laughs> I'm going to use that same card on you. Let me tell the story. <laughs> So I when, language, when I was about to get married and bought the ring, did everything. My cousin, Miss Marcus, took me out to a bar. We went and had a great time. And the stripper, he whispered to the stripper that I was about to get married. So the stripper spent most of his time with me. I mean, way too much more time than he should have because <laughs> I was about to get married. Showed me his dick. Said that he would like to take me home and everything else. And I'm like, wow. Um, I never got this attention Let's before go. when I wasn't about to get married. <laughs> now that I'm about to get married, suddenly you want me to come to your house. Is that why you're okay, telling people to say something real fast? Mary. I want to say something mm-hmm. real fast. These two bitches are all like, I've never had a boyfriend. Ah, mommy, mommy. And then Randy, something or other. And then Joe... Has been proposed to. Like, what the fuck? No, he was going no to I was going to propose. I was going to propose. Had a bo- Listen, I had, did I have had... a boyfriend for, for okay, a year so and a half. Okay, so you had a boyfriend. I had a you know, year I, and a half? Uh, a year. It ended, the reason why. So why you ain't saying, why are you saying you never had one? Because it. <sighs> even, that's news to me, but. I'm but not... it will, I will explain it to you later. I will explain it to you later. You Let's can't go. explain it to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is holding up a card that says "gasp" on it. Well, because well, I can't speak. And, and okay, you know we what? did. We it's did not it. verbal. Okay, so I'll explain it real quick. We did it for a year. We did not have sex the entire time because he wanted to wait because oh, he, he was, was newly out of the closet and he wanted to wait. <laughs> we go. He invites me to Galveston to spend the weekend, and we're going to finally do it. We get to the hotel. I buy a bottle of champagne. I get roses. I got all this stuff. I got everything planned out. Ready. I'm ready. We're in the hotel room. Everything's romantic. <clears throat> We're about to get down and do it. And then suddenly he doesn't want to do it. And then that was that. And I was like, wait, what? What happened? I thought you were going to say he was blown out. We had a great weekend. What happened? We had a great weekend and we had a good time. And then that following Monday, when we were supposed to go out and go do stuff, and I met his mother and his mother was. Very nice, lovely woman. <clears throat> we were about to do something, and I never saw him again. Is that your yeah. Wow. You never yeah, saw I him never again. saw him again. So oh, wait, what? Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's wow. what happened. It's what was his name? I'm not going to say. Well, Call bitch out. Okay, you can't discount dates or boyfriends just because you don't like what happened. I know that. And, yeah, and you kind of can with that story. No, you can't. Nobody want to think about no, you, that. No, mm-hmm. you can't. I've had okay, I've had relationships that have torpedoed my entire fucking life mm-hmm. that I'm still fucking Welcome. recovering from. Yeah, I'm torpedoed. You and me both. Of yes, all. thank you, bitch. Okay. <laughs> you know, since I started doing this show, I did not realize how much of myself that I would be putting out there. And the funny thing is, is that this was a story I had never really talked about because yeah, it was very. Yeah, you know, I've you known him before ninety-seven. I never even told Randy this story. So I've known him before yeah. ninety-seven. Randy doesn't even know this story. Oh, well, this sorry. is the first time that I revealed oh, that wow. story. So quit being insane. That's how much it hurt me. Chris. I know. Right? That's I met how much the man it hurt me. at ninety-four or ninety-five. I was, Amazingly enough, I, I would see 90. him four years later <gasps> at of all places, decades. 
I don't and know. And he, Randy remembers Decades. What is Decades? That was, decades used to be a bar in Houston, just a little hole in the wall dive bar for is that eight minutes. It was sort of, and was kind of like Michael's, it's but almost, darker. Decades <laughs> is almost iconic in mm-hmm. the fact that there was everybody went. Mm-hmm. And we all knew each other, mm-hmm. and we went almost every day mm-hmm. and, went and hung out, and it was like Cheers. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a yeah. yeah. It was, it was, like it was cheers. And it was dark. E- before it was, EJ's, it was dark on Westheimer. Right? There mm-hmm. was a jukebox, mm-hmm. and oh, uh, yeah. there were photos of everyone on the wall, on the back wall, mm-hmm. from their youth. Why can't we have fun. that? And no. we had Miss Vanna. Oh Lord, that Lord, bitch was we crazy. not talking about Van Lee. Vanna Tan, Miss Vanna Vanna Whiteley Love, Love. we not talking Vanna about that crazy Love. Bitch. She was a crazy <laughs> ass but bartender. Anyway, that bitch was crazy. That was Wait, where was different it? days. It was, was right here in Avenue. It was right here on <laughs> Richmond, where that barbecue place is down the road. There, the pit, the pit, oh. the pit barbecue. And there's a, it used to and be and in the that pit Took over that bar. They bought that bar, oh, the, which was I decades. Did, like, with my the pit took over yeah, and bought that bar. And you know, the, the place next door used to be a very terrible Ooh. bookstore. Oh, my God. It was yes. Talk of the Town 3? And but before Talk that, of the was, Town 3. But before that, it, it had a reputation because it was a bookstore from the 70s mm-hmm. called uh, Studs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then it became... Another bookstore, and then another bookstore. Talking to the town three. Talking to town three. And I'm not that I would ever have gone to a place like that because I no. Talk of the town three. Have. Bitch, I ran to see you when I was coming out of a booth. Oh, it was, <laughs> he was telling me yeah. about sucking okay. seven dicks in you a know, row. You know, sh- bitch, that never happened. Somebody was telling me about air. sucking seven dicks in a row, and it, it was not. That was at Talk of the Town. No, it was. That was at Talk of the Town. No, it was at. He was, at, bath house. De- he was at decades. I think he was at decades. He was at decades. We were all talking. House. And then suddenly he disappeared for an hour and a half. Then he comes back in, wipes his mouth. Hold on. Oh, Shane, order the cocktail. Y'all need to stop. Order the cocktail. And I, everybody's like, you where have you stop. been? Seven. You need to stop. In an First hour and a half? <laughs> First of all, I never came in wiping my mouth. Secondly, <laughs> that's the first point. <laughs> secondly, yeah, because I want to say, secondly, <laughs> Who can resist a bookstore when they're having drinks at a bar and they're drunk and they go next door and get a blowjob? Mm-hmm. You can't resist. You no, know, you can't resist. Well, what are the books involved? There was it was there mostly were actually videos. books. There, there were, were books actually and books. videos. Got that. Were you reading? Videos. Videos? No, no, I'm gonna read you if you don't shut up. <laughs> I know you are. So I did my thing and I walked back, but mm-hmm. everybody was laughing because that, that's the kind of bar it was. Yeah, exactly. Was very, everybody knew everybody. Everyone mm-hmm. saw Wait, everyone there coming back in. in. <laughs> there were books in the bar? No, no, no. no. The bookstore next door, the girl. bookstore queen. Oh there was God. a bookstore direct. I mean, it wasn't. I'm not talking about next door, like in across the street. It was like don't get mad at me. It's like right there. There's a fence. There's a and fence, you and then you walk around and the fence. fence. I've got enough drama mm-hmm. in my home. I don't need drama mm-hmm. at this fucking radio show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my I'm god! Trying to create girl. drama, girl. Ain't nobody cre- <sighs> girl. Drama this styles. Is... Have you guys never seen Unreal? There's more. You know what? There's more drama on that's going on right now than all the stuff that we were talking about earlier. <laughs> right. So speaking of drama, speaking mm-hmm. of drama, uh, I'm going back to the news for this one. But mm-hmm. Kim Davis, former county clerk, who refused to right. uh, give license. For gay marriage to four couples, Oklahoma, in Kentucky, oh shit, is being sued <laughs> by the government. Actually, she's suing. They're in a war because everybody in Kentucky, God love you, Kentucky, you bunch of fucking rednecks. Wait, they all we supported are in Texas. Shh, bitch, I'm telling a story outside of Texas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you should see the look that he just gave. Why are you worrying me? <laughs> Stop worrying me. Why are you worrying me? I feel Central. like this is going to be the best episode this ever. This is not Redneck Central. We live in Redneck Central. Mm. Kentucky oh, no, is mm. more redneck than Texas. Mm. Kentucky, Tennessee, Minnesota. Anyway, Kentucky you know what supported. Jasper, mm. Texas. Let me finish this story, bitch. Mm. Okay. A card will not stop this. I can't even hold up a card. Just knock me over the head. I would never. But the hammer. I love that Alec. Put me out of my, my misery. Mm-hmm. I'm about to call pest control. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, what had happened was 
she refused to give the four gay couples a license for marriage, and the entire state of Kentucky supported her, and it went to the Supreme Court, and now Kentucky says, Bitch, pay your own lawyer's fees mm-hmm. of two hundred and fifty five thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Yes, ma'am. Well, Thank I you. don't know who to support here. Mm-hmm. They're both in the wrong. They, oh, they both were in the wrong. So who do you support? Neither one. Neither pay one. The I think they should the pay half. I think that she should pay. Was she a representative of the state at the time? Yep. Yes. Then and her legal should... fees are covered. Yeah, they should yeah, be covered by the state. That's what she says. That's what she yeah. says. But she Kentucky mm-hmm. is saying she'll hate it. Can I ask this Kentucky, question? let her keep her office and stood behind her at that time and let her keep her post, Yes, then t- Kentucky is responsible. Yeah, Kentucky should be responsible. I don't, agree. I don't have I any agree. kind of comp- now, what is about it, that. What if you were in her place and the state asked yeah. you to do something that they was... Then ask her. That was a, she did it. Of her and own then, volition, oh, and oh. her own authority. She did it. Of no. her own of her own authority. She said... Mm. But she got the support from the state. Yeah, no, but then she after crowned, she, she did it, that post. Yeah. after she did it, guess what they said? They said, we support her. No, she, her. Refused, she exactly. refused to. No, that's not my question. Take what it. if What if you're in her position, you're in a state position, and you are asked to do something that is against your ethical principles? Girl, you don't do I it, would do against it. The rest I would of the do government. it. No, I'm a I mean, no, I'm a bitch. I'm a real. What listen, she did. listen. That's what she, she did. She did it on uh, moral her, her standing own, as a right. Christian and morality. But he's just asking. I'm a real thing. Christian, bitch. I go home and pray for your ass. I don't but, condemn you. I don't say you can't do anything. No, he's, not, he's asking a hypothetical you question, God. though. So if the you, state I'm asked you to Christian. do she that, so basically not, what Randy that. would do was I go home, out, go home, give out the marriage license, and call it a date. I give out the marriage license. I go home date. and pray for that woman. Exactly. That's what a that's Christian it. does. Mm-hmm. That's we it. We don't take that position. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> See, this is why I need the show that I'm I'm going to do in the future because. It's you coming, are y'all. not a real Christian Ooh, what is this if you show? take a position of moral authority over anybody <laughs> else <laughs> and use it to control <laughs> and use it to control other others. Other people. This is not your choice as a Christian. I love you. you give right it now. to God. This is not my business. This bitch was wrong, but the state was wrong too. So I think they should do fifty fifty. Mm-hmm. I don't, can I? Well, I know you don't agree with that, and legally. You're right. I think she has, took right. the high ground, and the state had nothing to do with it. But the state got involved because yeah, exactly. they, they supported, supported her. her, so they right. should be here. So you are fabulous right now. I, mm-hmm. I love so, you. I know. I love you too. So to get to and talk I like about something a little show. bit, a little bit something trivial, because this is very trivial, and I don't know why it's a big deal. Trivial or controversial? <laughs> Beyonce colored her hair brown. Oh Jesus! That's Christ. trivial. Christ. Okay. Um, Oh, oh my God! Nice. It was a start. She colored her no, hair brown. No, no, no. <laughs> why would she color her hair brown? <laughs> so that we can ask why. Wait, isn't her hair brown to begin with? No, she's got that good hair, honey. She can color it whatever it she wants to. And it was honey. It was a nice honey color. I said I was. Okay, Joel, Joel is just playing with us. Can no, I'm not. No, I'm not. She really colored her hair brown. She no, I'm not hair. talking about that. Oh, okay, well, I'm talking about the fact that we would give a shit. Because this is this is the part of the show where we don't where we supposed oh, to be that's trivial. True. It is trivial. Okay. It, we're supposed uh, to be trivial. Too, Can we ask Pinky what's up with him? Mm-hmm. I mean, because she colored her hair brown. All right, now everyone, everyone, everyone knows cares. my stance on Beyonce. I what, what, is, I, what, what is, is it? What is your stance? Watch on out Beyonce. for the beehive, bitches! Oh, Watch out for ooh, Lord! Come I for me, be- beehive! Come for me, okay. every single one of y'all. Mm-hmm. Beyonce is a hack. Wait, no. She got ooh, to, ooh, She slept ooh, to where she's ooh, at. Ooh, oh, oh, Lord, I'm, God. God. I'm being stung by bees. And so I got a torch for y'all. I'll hand you the same way I do the, the bees in my driveway. Pinky's comments do I not got reflect big glow torch. the nature of the show. You just y'all just talk to him. <laughs> when Beyonce starts sponsoring the show, I'll have nice things to say about okay, her. Okay, uh, have you seen one of her shows? Yep, I saw. Um, I, I saw her halftime show at the Super Bowl where she danced and. She gave two really shitty undercut roles to the group that she came up with, to the other two members of that group, and she let them dance on 100,000 pictures of Beyonce that were playing on the stage at the time. 
Mm-hmm. I will say this. I'm not I was like, really, really happy mercy. when she okay, caught her I hair on that fan. I her until formation, and when then she, I left her. When she caught her hair mm-hmm. on that fan, I could have just fell over and died. I will I say so this. I did enjoy... Look, Beyonce's not God. I was elated I exactly. with joy and when her hair got caught in that by fan. By the way, I enjoyed Lemonade, but not enough to, like... She's not the Messiah coming I haven't down seen from lemonade, Earth. But she's, but... No, Lemonade is the album with formation <laughs> on it, girl. <laughs> formation is one of the songs on the album. Yeah. I listened to the album, and it's a decent album. I liked it. Am I a, am I a member of the Beehive? No, I was never a big Beyonce fan to begin with. I hated what happened with her and Destiny's Child, and how I felt like that they all got screwed over to make her the thing. And I know why they made her the thing because mommy and daddy were in charge, mm-hmm. and that's what you did. Representation. Um, exactly. I forgot so my, I kind of uh, hated that. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. It's my turn. Mm-hmm. Um, what did you like about Lemonade? Because I haven't heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you just talked about one of the songs that you liked, which was Formation. Excuse me, Formation came out before Lemonade. No, Lemonade was a huge drop event for the album. Mm-hmm. Can you just please just huge. answer the question? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, which which songs did I like? No, what did you like about it? I just thought it was a really yes, I thought it was it. a really good album. <laughs> I liked a lot of the songs, but I was very confused because this is a woman who always talked about being independent, but also never being made it anywhere on to her, her own. man. And I couldn't understand what the difference was. Didn't do a damn thing on her own. How are you gonna tell women to be? How are you gonna tell women to be women <laughs> while you're dealing with that man that you're married to, and y'all know what he did? So, Wait, what did he do? He Ooh, cheated on her. her. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Who the fuck cares? The, she's a fucking her. lesbian. Who cares? So the, so the single most memorable moment I have about Beyonce is in Dreamgirls. Mm-hmm. And the truest thing ever spoken Which, by about the way, Beyonce. She can't act. So I don't know, stop putting her in movies. She can't the reason, act. And the reason that in the show for this, the truest thing I have ever heard said about Beyonce is the reason that she was chosen is because she has no identity. Mm-hmm. And she can be formulated and molded into whatever they okay, want. I'm not going to sit here and hit on somebody who is a fucking megastar. Who is obviously successful. I'm insulting in everyone who is successful in their career. She was not. Mm-hmm. She, she was, was not. amazingly successful she in She was career. made into. I'm not going to sit and hate on somebody who is successful. I'm, yeah, I'm exactly. not hating on her. I'm just saying I'm she has no identity. Her. I'm not hating on her. All I'm saying is. I don't is, even know what that, that means. I'm not a huge fan. Maybe you don't have an identity either. I'm not a huge fan either. either. I'm not a huge I fan. just like formation. Mm-hmm. I'm not a huge then why fan. Are you and, mm-hmm. but you should let me hate on her then. You can hate on somebody as much as you want to, but you need to respect. No, you don't need to. You should respect her acumen yeah, as exactly. a businesswoman. If she yes. is a businesswoman. If she were a businesswoman handling those things as a businesswoman. She's not. I think Madonna needs to sit her ugly I'm ass down right. and bless her heart. She I think she needs to, to She's not ugly. The door. She's She's not ugly. Thing. I, I think Madonna she needs to She looks good for 103. Down. Look, I will say this. I'm going to say this. I respect her business act. Because she did I it I will say own. this one thing about Madonna, because we're going to go to break here in a minute. I will say this. She might be partially right about the fact that Oh no, ageism, ageism is, is real. It's real. No, it's real. And I think she's right about Ask that. Ask Kelly Parton. Because that's what happened yeah, to Kelly exactly. Parton. Music stations, country music mm-hmm. stations, literally stopped playing mm-hmm. her music because, guess what? It was she's too twangy. Too old. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, it was she's twangy. Old. Nobody well, they're just country no, music no, it wasn't about her talent. It was oh, about shit. the fact I feel that like I just got called a bitch. Mm-hmm. She did. And you kind of are a bitch. in a good way. It's a bit no, in a good I, way. I, I, I am not. The crown on my head is not. Girl, don't take not it been so goddamn seriously. I, I, no, I love but that. I appreciate I, that. I will, I will admit that if Madonna is too. right when it comes to ageism. No, ageism is real. It's, Duh! Look, her is when you're not look, relevant anymore. You're not what relevant is anymore. <laughs> See, I agree with you. We call it ageism no, because we want it to be victimized. However, however. It's not ageism. It's just No, that's fat. ageism. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but no. ageism shouldn't be a thing. Okay. When you're old, you're yeah. irrelevant. Can I ask a question? <laughs> okay, can I ask a question? Oh, okay. <laughs> why is it Why is it because Madonna's gotten old that she has to make shitty music now? Thank you. Because she's old. Perhaps it's because her music is girl, fucking girl, shitty girl. now. No, it's because she's old and she doesn't have it anymore. I'm not saying that she's losing her damn mind. Shitty. 
<laughs> I'm not saying oh, the music it's isn't shitty. Oh, it's However, terrible. I am saying this. I said that last week. Mm-hmm. Joel and I both agree on one thing. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. That there is ageism, mm-hmm. and it happens. But we can't but say that it's terrible because she's old? Because she's gotten no, old. No, I athlete, never said that. No, I know, but an athlete yes, loses. Yes, actually, we can say. An athlete loses yes, their edge when yes, they're old. Yes, we can say it's ageism by saying that because, because she got old, it's terrible. Yeah. That is that's, ageism. Look, Madonna's that's, That is ageism. Madonna's, if you can say that her music no, is terrible cut. now, then it's terrible. Ageism would be her having still having great music and us not listening to her because she's old. She has just lost it. Yes. And that's not ageism. We are list- not listening to her because her music fucking Not sucks. because she's old. I don't mind old. Okay. And you Matt know King what? Cole. I don't mind old either. Madonna, Madonna has a fuckload of money. If she wanted to make fucking good music. She actually made it on her She could take all her fucking money her. and make an amazing album. I respect she Madonna. I am to... not a Madonna fan. Never have been a Madonna fan. No. I, I have an Madonna, awesome Madonna, I respect, I respect Queen of her hustle. Hustle. Okay, okay. I respect well, her enough, hustle. Enough over talk. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're taking a break. We're taking a break. Because we're... <laughs> we're having a lot of overtalk. We're going to try to get rid of that. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of it. I think it. we're having a lot of fun. This is one of the best. I, think I mean, Madonna is, is the episodes. queen of pop. Yeah, she is the queen of pop. But we'll With, But she needs to sit and I give her down. mad props for that. Mm-hmm. But it's time to pass the torch, it's, the baton. Yeah, that's not her decision. Yeah. It's, it's already gone. But right, it's, it's not her decision. Here's the thing. I will can't pass it to anybody. I will end this on this note. If you want, if you want to continue to make music, that's fine. Make music people want to hear. But make Good. sure that when you make it, put your heart and soul. Thank don't make you. It. Not whatever don't fad or just, whatever you're putting into now. Don't make it just because you're bored and you Thank have nothing you. else to do. Make it because you want and to hire make. proper producers yeah, exactly. who are going to say no to you. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Who will tell you exactly what and you say should be doing, what you no. should not be doing. You're so yeah. smart. So we're gonna end it on this, and we'll okay. come back. Because I... I'm brown nosing. I am going to have... We can see it. It's, I don't know yeah, why. right there on your nose. I'm going to have a fun little game cock. that we're all going to play she gonna in the gonna worry me. half hour. What she's going to do is worry me. I know it. <laughs> Does it involve stripping? What did Cinderella Lord, say? I hope mm-hmm. not. I hope so. I hope not. What is... If you heard my little sandals walking across the floor, we are back. Swish, 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 flip, 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 we are about to play a little bit of game, a little bit of a game. <clears throat> now, for those of you out there in the audience who are straight, who, who le- recently left a relationship, and you are getting back out in the dating world again, most likely you're probably going to go on an app. I'm going to give you a few things that you need to know about when you are using these apps because you need to know what rejection looks like when it comes to these apps. So we're going to play a little game to find out if my crew knows these a little terms that I found on the internet <laughs> that for some reason are the biggest thing right now. Ooh. So. Mm-hmm. I love big. So here we go. E- each of you will have 15 seconds to. That's a long think time. Of the, think of the answer to a question I'm going to ask you and answer in the best way that you can. Wait, I'm I think we should have seven seconds. No, 15, 15 is, is a lot. Yeah, 15, 15 seconds. I timed this out. Can we Google it? Girl, 15 no, seconds is a lot. What did I get when I win? Can we just <laughs> let it happen, please? Take one to the face, Brandy. <laughs> you get the knowledge of knowing that either you are a oh. terrible person. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Or, we already know that about ourselves. Or okay, let's go. that you... Might do well in a dating circle. So let us begin by mm-hmm. let me ask you guys what the term. Wait, we all get asked all at once? Yes, all at once. Oh, we don't get individual. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a difference for the 15 seconds. Oh, we're seconds. just going to blurt it out. Okay. Well, no, no, we're not. No, you're not going to blurt it out. Joel can okay. point. All right. Or, so I'm going to go, hey, Siri, set timer for 15 seconds. Oh, shit. He is so Time reset for 15 seconds. Whoa. You now have 15 seconds to tell me what catfishing means. Ooh, that's looking for a rich guy. No, that's pretending to be somebody else in an effort to gratify yourself emotionally for some reason. I don't know why. Is it emotional? I thought catfishing was really just pretending to be. Actually, Randy is slightly correct. 
I'm, I would, I would be more crazy if I had a chance to say what when I... When someone know. lures you into an online relationship by pretending to be someone else. Yeah, and that's what I was going to mm-hmm. finish saying. But anyway. I can't believe you got that one. That was so... Girl, I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that... When I told you we were about to play this game and I came up with these... Bitch, and I looked up these turds, you said keep... where I'm not, not going to... No, no, no. I was like, I don't do mm-hmm. games. Mm-hmm. But anyway. So, All right, next. The next term, the next term is, what is cuffing season? Hey, Siri, set timer for 15 seconds. You have 15 seconds to think about what is cuffing season. I would say marriage season. Cuffing season. That's when you arrest a whole lot of gay people for no goddamn reason. (laughs) What do you what do you think, Chris? What is cuffing season? Um Ooh. Ooh. Time. When it gets cold outside and you decide to find someone at the last minute to get you through the, the winter months. Oh this is online dating. By the way, this is what online dating is. I have never heard of cuffing. <laughs> you mean whole months? Yes, like when September mm-hmm. rolls around and it gets a little chilly and you want to be inside mm-hmm. and you want to find someone Houston, to keep, keep you warm through the through the winter months. What, what is it? Midwest, Midwest, Midwest I thought this were going to be morality decisions. But the funny thing is, <laughs> is it 1850? Are we in cabins now? I We're goddamn Lake hey, I'm not is, saying Lincoln was Depression is higher because May direct direct sunlight this. is lower. The funny thing is, is that is that I saw this in an episode of a heterosexual show. This is a real thing. Yeah. This is actually, women will actually go out looking for men. Consequently. Or opposite, or right. either or. Christmas will look happens, for each other. New Year's, and Valentine's Yeah, they Day. want to have a boyfriend to last them through the winter months. And then somebody when April the, rolls around. Somebody to bring, them, bring to Thanksgiving. Somebody to bring to Christmas yeah. dinner. Somebody well, to celebrate mm-hmm. New Year's with. May I say something? Mm-hmm. May I say During something? February to have Valentine's Day with. May I say something? No woman... Who's getting a woman for cuffing season is going to win if they're doing it for Christmas presents because lesbians are cheap. (laughs) What the fuck? I I normally. Oh, you don't think that's true? You don't know that's true? Okay, I told you. Jews are cheap. Before these. Lesbians. Before these. Don't tip. Are what? Before these queens. You can't say lesbians are cheap. Right. Why are we bringing Jewish people in? Okay, it's okay to say Jews are cheap, but it's. It's not a joke. It's It's a joke. It's okay, to say lesbians are cheap. it's okay to say lesbians are cheap, but Jews lesbians are not cheap. Have the first All right. Okay, ever. Chris, you're cheap. Ding, 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 ding. I'm not a Jew or a lesbian. Back, back to the game. Uh, Jews are you hot. stop being anti-Semitic. Back to the game. I'm not being anti-Semitic. Back, game time. Back to the game, queen. The question <laughs> is... The question is... What... Now... Remember, these are all ter- dating terms. This is what happens on the internet when you Just meet someone or, have, or what have you. What do you think place. is cloaking? Hmm. Ooh, I would say that that's hiding your online status. Siri, you got that 15 seconds? Hey, Siri. She doesn't speak gay. Give me 15 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Give me 15 seconds on the timer, please. <laughs> what is cloaking? Think Suck about a be- dick through a glory hole because nobody can see you and you're just sucking a random you dick. You realize that you're supposed to answer this after 15 seconds. It gives you time to think about it. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Shit. Sorry. I thought was this I right? I it, thought this is going to be morality questions. Right? Oh, it, it's pretty much on that line. I, By the way... um, the person who came the closest was actually Pinky. Oh. He didn't even say anything. I did. Yeah, he hiding did. your online status so they don't know when you're online. When you meet someone. I didn't hear you. Because you were talking. Let me, I no, know. it's because I, I was talking. Actually. Let me read you the definition. When you meet I someone. nonsense. When you meet someone online, schedule a date, they stand you up, and they completely erase their presence online, Ooh. blocking your number, blocking your online when you do dating, all that up, and your dating app. So, Pranky was actually the closest. I'm like the comic book Pinky. character. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, it's 1-1. One, one. Randy got one. Pinky got one. I'll say I got half. I got close. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, Chris. So I'm going to give you that because you were actually that the was closest that, to without going over. That. Mm-hmm. Price is right. Mine over. wasn't even mm-hmm. close. So, mm-hmm. I'm glad yeah. you went there, though, mm-hmm. Randy. So, so next so question. Where your head's at? Next question. <laughs> or where his head's at? In, <laughs> in your next head. question. In my mouth. <laughs> what? What is cushioning? Hey Siri, set timer for 15 seconds. Think about it for 15 seconds before you answer. Fair enough. Your timer is set for 15 seconds. Oh my god, it's something straight people do that has sex with couch cushions. Actually, if you put it between the mattress and the box spring. It's... <laughs> okay, 15 seconds are up. What do, what do you think cushioning is, Randy? Fuck, I keep forgetting. I thought it's like I have time between in the 15 seconds to answer the question. No, no, no. All right, the, que- the answer is some straight rando weirdo, you know, because I don't know who he is, fucking a cushion. Chris, what do you think cushion It's a is? thing with the straight I don't like kid. this game, and I don't understand it. So okay, I'm, per- I'm, I'm Chris, doing whatever I want Just what do you think cushion is? I don't is? have an answer. He passes. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I'm going to say getting, I would say getting your friend or one of their friends to break up with them instead of you breaking up with oh, them. Oh, wait. This is a whole internet thing. Dating I thing. I forgot yeah. about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know anything about this. Or shit. like, if you pretend you to be. You knew what catfishing was. Don't tell me you don't know shit. <laughs> Girl, I watched Dr. Phil. You you know what catfishing <laughs> is. So, yes. Everybody knows who what catfishing is. Okay. So, <laughs> basically, cushioning. Is when you are dating someone, but you realize it won't end well, so you start flirting with other people, you start talking to other people while they're there. Uh, I do that all the time. To, so it makes it easier to break right, up right. with them. Exactly, get them to break up with you first. Remember, this is, we're talking about internet dating. And by the way, leave heterosexuals out of this. This is gay men. Apparently. This is basically gay men. And by men. the way, I know how to stop, to get a trick to leave you alone. Okay. So angrily shove two fingers in his asshole. I was gonna say use more teeth without him expecting it and pull. <laughs> Just shove and pull. All right, next question. Wow. Everybody ready? Well, I've done it. Everybody ready what? for the next question? <laughs> I'm ready for to move on from that. Randy, sure. Chris, you ready? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. So here's the next question. You're gonna be ready. The next question is what? It's a slow fade. Now, before anybody says anything, think about what ghosting is because Randy actually kind of actually got that right. So think about what a slow fade is. I don't know. I thought we were going to be able to express ourselves. Express yourself. You are expressing yourself by... Mm-hmm. What, is, what is a slow fade? He means exposed. I don't know. Uh, a slow fade would be breaking up slowly on the internet. And telling your friends That's a very that you hate the guy. Interpretation. Well, I don't know anything about the Chris, internet. What is what is your? I answer? don't know. I don't care. <laughs> and Charles, <laughs> I mean, slow fade. I think is is slowly like being too busy and and the kind of like letting it just die out until they stop messaging you anymore. Oh my god, that is correct. <laughs> That is correct. A he's slow fade. From the king yeah, of the, king, yeah. the, king he's of the a slow millennial. fade. By, by the way, Randy, you were actually, I would have given it to you, Randy, but he went into more detail. Well, you he's a actually millennial. Were, you actually weren't. He that knows what have, these assholes by the way, do. The reason no, I did that. Are you, is your game done? No, no, no. Oh, it, it's going to, because we're going to talk about what we have learned from this. Because I can tell you right now, Randy and I have probably know what these terms mean. But we've used them before the internet. In person. No, we've used uh, them before. Yes, we have. I haven't learned shit. <laughs> okay. So, next question. <laughs> next question, bitches. Mm. What is breadcrumbing? We've given up on the 15 second timer. Sorry. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. It hey, only, syrup. It only answers to my voice. Hey, Siri. Hey Siri, is that is. it? Turn my voice. <laughs> On this one, hey Siri, give me thirty seconds. Lord have mercy. Oh wow. Oh, we don't need thirty seconds. Yes, no, we do. Thirty seconds. 
I mean, uh, I'm done now. Crumming, no, 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 don't answer. Oh, oh, you're after don't the answer say, bro, until gonna, after the timer the goes up. It's, it's like Final Jeopardy. For 30 seconds. Yeah, until mm. after the timer goes final up. Final Jeopardy rules. Give yourself so he's going to sit here with dead R. Yes. For 30 seconds. Yes. Oh, I got it. Give yourself, I got it. Give yourself I know what it is. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, do yeah. not. Hansel's <laughs> got it. I know what it is. Hansel knows what it is. All right, and we're done. I mean, what uh, is a brandy? Uh, what bread do you think is bread crumbing? Bread crumbing is, you know, just uh, leaving little pieces of shit on the floor until Ooh. somebody slips on them. I don't know. On the way to your bed, Chris. Well, I mean, which is disgusting. That's almost right. Yeah. Bread crumbing is where you get fucked really hard. And you cannot, you can't close your anal cavity afterwards, and so oh, you, man. you drip little fucking oh, pieces of I'm going afterwards. in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say Charles, else. what do you think bread crumbing is? I was going to say, is it like, I was going to ask if it was like, come out and cracker, but um, I would say like, slowly like, doing the opposite of the last one, and kind of slowly being available more and more to intrigue somebody. It's a bit like catfishing, but just kind of learning something about them and, and reeling them so in this, to the online. All terrifying. this internet that shit is, is so all good. about manipulating people yeah. emotionally. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, no, no, everything it's it's it is. And Wait, it's what? It's fucked up. Guess Wait, what? what? Yes, what? Yes, it is. We but gay people do not have to be about that. But we, but we are. choose to be. No, we, we are, are not. We do not have to but be. But we are. No, we, we aren't. Not be. I do not manipulate people. No, I don't either. Don't. I do not. You are not the okay. gay people, Chris. Listen to the answer. When somebody seems to be pursuing you, but they have no intention of being tied down. Ooh, that's me. I breadcrumb a lot. Think and, about that. In full clarity, I thought it was bread coming. No, breadcrumb. Why would um, you do that? Oh, no, I let people know that that's what I'm doing. Oh, but oh, I, okay. I've done I don't it. manipulate them. I let them know I've that I'm Just be a, just be a trick. If you don't want anything and I else, that. just be a trick. I'm like, if you want a pen pen, I will cool. be the first to say that I have probably have bread yeah. from. Yeah. Oh, and you I you probably have You're fucking from. disgusting. I probably have. Why? Maybe, Maybe I didn't that, know what the term was. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't Maybe say that you lead them on. You are leading them on. Does it say leading them on? Uh, yes. Yeah, it does. So why? Yeah, with that, I haven't let anybody on. I wouldn't lead anybody on like I'm that. I'm always clear about the fact that I, I'm going just, to tell you. Do you know what parachuting is? Just because you can. Do you know Given parachute? your last description, do you know I don't know what parachuting is. Now. What is paratrooping? You sleep with someone just so you can have a place to sleep. I like I've never done that. I've actually never. I've never done that. I've actually been. I've never done that. I've seriously been homeless, mm. and I've never done that. Mm. I've been homeless. I've, I've done that. that when I travel. But I also mm. seriously got raped because oh, shit. I didn't do Ooh, that. Lord, oh, we not going. And that. that's the truth. But how could you unseriously get raped? I mean, well, it was serious. I was drugged and raped because you asked him to do it. I kept telling the guy. You know, mm-hmm. I I just want a place to stay, and he said, "Cool, we've got a place. I got a place for you." And then he drugged me and raped me. Oh, so fuck. yeah, that's no that's fun. That's not right that's at not all. Fun. I'm sorry, God. Mm-hmm. So the that's next, like, so Saturday the next night, question. Chris asks for so fun. The next question. See, we're, now we're learning. We're learning stuff. Mm-hmm. And the next question is, what is catch and release? Oh. That's, that's when you go. That's hey, when Siri. you fuck. Hold on. Oh, Hold damn. on. Damn. Lord, forgive me for saying that. <laughs> hey, Siri. <laughs> I, I actually use the drink. Give me 30 seconds. Your timer is set for 30 seconds. What is catch and release? Now, that's what you were talking about, Chris, when you let it drip Shh, from, from the, dri- the bed. You're thinking. supposed to think I am thinking, 30 bitch. seconds. We can't have dead air. I've got to harass Well, you apparently we can. You don't have to be silent during 30 seconds. You, you just got to be able to You think. don't have to do, but you have to think about it. If you can't think and speak at the same time, I guess. Y'all can be quiet. I got it. I got it. Okay, so let's go around the table. Y'all are going to hate me. There we go. I think that's so what Randy, you know, Randy, 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 what do you think catch and release means? <laughs> it means that you get a trick and then throw them out of your house, girl. You have sex with a dude and throw him the fuck out. 
Something I've done my entire life. Mm. You <laughs> fucking get cum in your mouth, you're tasting it, you realize it's got a fucking disease, and you fucking spit that shit out. Oh, when it tastes bitter, yeah. yeah. Mm. And that is from Doesn't Chris. Doesn't all just taste bitter? And that mm. is from Chris. So, <laughs> Miss Pinky, that. Catch on. and Release. Um, catch and Release. Uh, I mean, I've been doing that since my 20s. Um, Nobody here, cares. Working in the bars. That's the best part. Nobody they cares. Don't, they Mary. They don't, don't care. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I, I would say that it, it's staying away from a serious relationship. And I mean, whether oh, you repeat shit, one person serious. or not, you know, a series Can of one night stands. Can you speak English? What? A series of one night stands. That you're honest about. That you you seriously are Well, that's what I just said. I didn't say you were you wrong. Everyone had to release. give an answer. We both get a point, What girl. is your answer? Hey. Okay, so the answer is yeah, kind of my love life. By the way, by the way, both Randy and Charles were were in that realm. It's Wait, called tricking. Me? You were way off. I don't even know where you come up with these answers. <laughs> I'm worried about that. I'm worried about gum. you. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a talk after the show because I'm worried about you. <laughs> we need intervention, y'all. <laughs> Someone who puts effort into flirtation, flirtatious texts until you agree to a date. They immediately well, lose interest and move on to someone else. Well, that's no fun for anybody. I know. At least in, girl, we got this a bottle. Is, this, is, <laughs> this is all about learning. <sighs> this is all about learning how to date online and how to understand Wait, the how signs. Do I don't online? want to date online. Y'all would have but, to be less of a pro but than I am to, we, for these things to be useful. Here's the thing. This is why we have the show to teach people. I would say, look out for these things. To look out for certain things. And if you, if you, look at, if you see this behavior happening to you, I yeah, exactly. avoid Find them. them. Exactly. And by go. the way, we I can tell you at this table that we probably have done a couple of these things. I, I've definitely done a few. Of them. I think that we've and, done and, a couple uh, of these things. These things without the internet, yeah. I've done them all. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, almost yeah, all. Right. We, we've, we've done the analog did. version of these things. So, so this ask question. So y'all this... are, are y'all talking over each other? Yep, you're right. <laughs> you got the fuck? move on card. You're right. Move on. Move on. Y'all move need on. to shut so up. I'm about to ask the next oh, question. Lord. Are you done making a cocktail in there yeah. while he's slamming my refrigerator door? Audience, he is slamming a refrigerator door. He they is heard upset. It. <laughs> That's my sister. It's he is upset. He is That's <laughs> my alley <laughs> cat. <laughs> That's my alley cat. Yo, I got a hard life. Mm-hmm. So, everybody ready for the next question? <laughs> That's my alley cat. <laughs> everybody ready for the next question? And I think this might be easier for especially Chris. Oh, this shit. might be easier. Are Chris, we still Chris doing this fucking game? Yes, we're still doing this game. Chris likes it easy. What do you think benching me? Benching? Benching. Hey, Siri. I would... Give me 30 seconds on the clock. Okay, I got a good one for this. It's Wednesday, the 15th of May. No, I didn't say... <laughs> Bitch, I did not say that. I... Give me 30 seconds on the timer, please. Okay, your timer is set for 30 seconds. What is benching? Everybody got knows Siri is a woman, it. by the way. I, mean, I, I used to bench... Oh, I... Like, I changed my theory to a British accent because the British men are sexy. There's a British woman. If you no, if British you if men. you put it on the man voice, are y'all yeah. thinking about right. right. your answer? The benching you get it, thing. You get it the to read thing. internet porn to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know it's what? Perfect. You're right, Joel. We need to do the. I mean, Chris, the benching thing. Okay, oh, I'm thinking about Time it. Time is up. <sighs> Randy, what do you think benching is? Lord, I suppose it's some kind of internet shit that I don't know anything about. They're all so I things. guess you would have to uh, date some people and keep some people online on hold for dating as well. It's almost like you fuck one guy, then you keep the other guys in line. So I'm going to say it's almost like a basketball reference. There are guys on the bench, and there are guys in play, so... Hmm. So, benching Chris. is when you're at the gym. <laughs> Here we go. There's a, <laughs> there's a super hot motherfucker stud. Mm. You kind of overstep your bounds. That's and fine. he, bam, he slams you into the bench. Mm. 
I was going to say teabag him. Oh, okay. shit. While you're spying. Wow, that's a lot of passion in that is. Charles. And I'm, I'm 100% with Randy on this one. It's it's having, like, you know, a bunch of people. It's playing the field, and then you retire one of your, your yeah. regular players. And then you got your and you dudes put them on the bench, coming in. And you, got, you put another, you know, another little bird in play. I will say this. Both you and Randy are correct. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Randy, who, uh, sw- who swears up and down he doesn't know this shit, knows more I than know, he thinks he But I'm knows. thinking internet now, which is disgusting. Yeah, exactly. Next question. Everybody ready? Yes. Shoot. Quick, before anyone has a chance to say anything. What? Lord have mercy. What is zombering? Zombie. Or I'm ing. sorry. Zombie-ing. What? Z- Z- zombie with an I-N-G at the end. Can you just pronounce it correctly? What is it? Oh, that's the correct pronunciation. Zombie ing. Hey Siri. Set timer for thirty seconds. Your timer is set for thirty seconds. See that voice would be hot reading internet erotica. I got it. We don't care, there's still fifteen seconds on the timer. I care. Uh there's awesome. sixteen seconds left on the counter. <laughs> And we're almost done right now. Jeffrey is Here's not a sponsor. The answer to Neither are any of the affiliates. Oh, shit. Okay. So, Randy, what do you think is zombieing? Zombieing is when you come on to a person that you know. Has broken up with someone else, and you get in there anyway and say, "Reanimate that corpse." And say, "Bitch, <laughs> you can get some from me." <laughs> Chris, zombing is when you went out the night before and you are dead, fucked up. You're passed out. You wake up. There's a dick in your ass. There's a dick in your mouth. There's something uh, somewhere. You wake up, you're a fucking zombie, and you gotta fucking take that shit. Uh, that zombie <laughs> brains. And Charles, <laughs> what do you think zombie is? Um, I'm gonna say, kind of, and I, I'm going from like, and it's funny because I keep seeing flashes of my own messages to people and like things. I, oh, you're a zombie, <laughs> but. But so you kind of like <laughs> run through this series of automated responses that you kind of just generically send to everyone and, and you're not really actually active in the conversation or paying attention, you're not thinking about it. You're just kind of muddling through it. Everybody's wrong. Ooh. You guys were bouncing around it, but everybody's wrong. Zombieing is actually when you have ghosted someone in the past. Oh, and you re- but then you show up and say hi on a text oh, message. Shit. Oh, or, no, or shit. Or do a like on their oh, Instagram page. Fuck. Or <laughs> that <laughs> kind of thing. That happens yes. to me actually a lot. Yes. I've never done that. Maybe right. I have. And I you've done the other one. Last though. question. This is the last absolute, <laughs> last absolute question to finish this game. And so far, Randy oh, and Charles have done yeah. very well. Chris. Pinky is still smoking. Chris, Randy. I don't know what's going on I'm okay. across that table. I'm fine with We're loving it. It's good for ratings. Maybe you might get one right. But Chris I, is But grown. I will tell you this. This I, is Chris last. I say, will say, tell the audience this. I, of all the people that I thought would get most of it wrong, I thought Randy would. Randy is actually more Way ahead of you. Net savvy You're than I thought. You're saying disappointed in me. I am a little bit disappointed. Oh, in you. series I'm, of F- I'm not disappointed little, in you at all. But I, I've, I've just never, been guessing based on I never the thought, idea of I never enough. thought that Randy would. Randy actually okay. is very interesting. They don't tune in. All right, last wits. question. Okay, last question. Last question. Last question. What is? It's okay. It's gonna be okay, Chris. Stashing. Hey Siri. Set their timer for 35 seconds. I think they need a little bit more time okay. to think about this. I'm just, ooh, five, what, whole, five whole seconds. My what goodness. is stashing? I'm just going to add Joel's name to the list of every other man that's disappointed in Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I 
like the I like, audience. I love the. And you can see they're really taking this last me. one very you seriously have because me. We're they all are like, really taking this last one very seriously because they're really thinking about it. We've got and like done his poses on. And Randy like, has been doing very. Randy and Charles have been doing very well, and I think Randy has one more over Charles. No, so. Pinky has two over Randy. What? Does it mean Not you me to say All right, everybody ready? Randy, what do you think is stashing? Listen, the internet is the devil. And these poor queens, or whatever, are waiting online. And they're being led on the whole time. Stashing is when you lead people on and think that you like them. But you're not quite sure if you want to fuck them. And so they're just waiting around. They're being stashed like pieces of property or what have you. So they're being stashed on the side just in case I want to get fucked by this dude. Okay, so Randy, since this is the last question, that was more benching. What you described was benching. Well, it sounds so that's like not stashing. stashing so, bitches okay, away. Stashing is a very big deal. Okay, okay. What is stashing. It's when you're you're jerking off. You're thinking about that's what's edging. You, no, it's you're, you're thinking about something hot, <laughs> and then you just think of dead babies. No, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that's Let edging. The man Let the man finish. Let the man then finish. Then you think about dead babies. <laughs> Okay, so let's. You me... gotta stash that shit. You can't come. You gotta stash that shit. That shit builds up. <laughs> that's that's, that's edging. That is stashing. That's edging. All oh, the right. dead babies. I know you're stash. wrong with that. I, uh, and I feel you on that. I can see the confusion. Miss mm-hmm. Pinky, what do you think stashing is? Well, I was, I was thinking, like, along the lines of, of Randy, but then I guess maybe it's probably not hooking up and more, like, kind of collectively online dating them. Mm-hmm. And kind of keeping all of your options open as far as, like, long-term dating versus hooking up. That's kind of what I said. Well, you said get fucked by them. That's different well, than dating. Well, no. I'm trying... I was trying to say... Oh, <laughs> I could be wrong, but it's kind of the same thing. What I was yeah, saying. I mean, I, that's Actually, where I was at with it. once again, both of you guys described benching. Yeah. Stashing is a completely different animal. Stashing... Is you when, say cocaine bags in the butt. Like someone you've been answer. dating for a while, and that could be a week, months. No. Stashing is a little bit different. But you don't introduce them to your family or friends, or don't. I've don't, been stashing my whole life. Or you don't post it to social media. So basically put, you're basically them to dating them. someone on the, fly, on the secret, but you're not introducing when you've been DL. dating. You're keeping them on the DL. Oh. Well, I have to say, my parents are very happy that they've never met Give me anybody. Give me I love this. No, no we're not. Are you, you fucking kidding me? Bonus? No. <laughs> Give me a bonus. Give me a bonus. No, actually, no, actually, no, 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 actually you know I will. Actually, just the last one. The last one. Actually, no. I the done. bonus was I'll the paratrooping, which, thank you for that. I will give you a point for that. The paratrooping, which I had not heard of, which I had not heard of. But stashing is when you date someone, but you keep them on the down low because you don't want to introduce them to your family or friends or post them on it's social media. It's generally because my family ends up asking them for mm-hmm. money. It's very I've never introduced mm-hmm. anybody to anybody mm-hmm. I've ever tried. So much like now it's a free for all? They're like 1,600 mm-hmm. miles away. So now we're uh, on the way out mm-hmm. of town. Wait, no, it's 30 minutes. We're pulling out. No. We're pulling out. It, you don't think it's been 30 Bye. fucking minutes? Bye. We love you. Mm-mm. Basically put, and now we're in the learning curve. So basically put, here is why I decided to do this game. I like it because I wanted us I hate it. to it's learn. It's a cautionary tale. No, it's, it's awesome. A, it's a cautionary tale of how we date as gay men. No, it's not. It really is. No, it's you should not. be able to pick up on these things, mm-hmm. like no, no, as a grown person. That's anyways. what you said was the object of the game, but that's not what you. That's not what the game was about. Mm-hmm. We're just defining words that you said. No, these are not. These are, I thought these you wanted our listeners. opinion. I thought you wanted our opinion. No. So, what's your opinion on what we No, just... we're just defining terms that you 
threw out. Well, now I did not. Your, wait, your, I threw out? I looked the stuff up on the internet. These are actually threw out. On my I understand that. To you. I thought you wanted my opinion about things. Mm-hmm. You don't want my opinion. You just want no. a fucking definition. Yeah. Well, uh, no. Joe. I wanted to talk about what, what we have learned from I have learned, learned that I would switching. never date online. And I like to find people in person, mm-hmm. and I I don't date online. Mm-hmm. So then again, I don't find people in person either. But the truth <laughs> is, I'd rather be face to face with somebody than fucking find somebody online. Here's what I've learned: I've learned that people are better when they're face to face. But how would you but know? You've you never you dated there? anybody online. Why am no, I no, talking no. about dating people online when we are the I'm not people? talking about people. I'm dating anybody online. I'm saying I'd rather meet somebody face to face than online. Because okay. I don't trust any motherfucker online. Mm-hmm. So hit it. Well, the reality is, is the fact that I I like what you said, Randy, but the fact of the matter is, is that this is our world now. I will, if you are going to meet someone face to face, you got to go online to do it. I will you say cannot. that. Like, don't give anybody your no. bank How many card times have you gone I don't, out? I don't world? agree. You can How give... many times have you gone out and I, met someone I in issue, person I and issue. asked them out on a wait, date wait, wait, wait. that you liked? That you asked them out on a date that I, you liked in person? Ooh, I'm strictly on boning these days, so. I don't know what that means. I mean, fuck? Yeah. yeah that's what boning means. That's usually what boning means. I don't well, know why you would get any other impression. Usually what people do when they meet mm-hmm. face to face at a bar is fuck. What we Not live at the in, bar. But what what we live in a in a society now where we go to the bar and what is everybody doing? They're talking on their they're they're texting on their phone. So, so you're not it's really a horrible meeting, world we You're not really in. meeting anyone face to face because they're they're on every If you're on your phone. Yeah. So I have been to a bar where I got a text on Growler. Going, I'm five feet away. Wait, why didn't you just walk up to me disgusting. and say hello? I what love going to straight bars though. And, and why did you that's not just walk up to me and say, say hello? It really is. Well, that's geez. a fucking shame. But that's the world we live in. Well, so how do we how do we pretty, navigate that world? world. Fuck you, world we live in. What? I, I don't want to live in that world. And what that's, world do you want to live in? It's a world God you, made for you. But, oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, but what world do you want to live that in? You want to live in a world where people meet <laughs> and not and, say hello. But that's and, not the, yes, no, but that's that's not not the reality ask, anymore. Listen, two fingers on the bottom of the world I want to live in. You don't have to tell me what world we live in after that. I'm simply saying. I agree with that's you. That's a shame because mm-hmm. I'd like to meet somebody face to face. I and, agree with you. And have a conversation. We need to keep. We need Can to we hold get a on. Cup of coffee. We need to hold on to the old school. Th- What's way wrong of with things? getting a cup of because coffee? Because eventually, the old school way of things is going to die out. Getting a beer and meeting and and getting to know mm-hmm. each other. That's a getting to know shame. you. Getting to know all. Uh, of well, you. I'm glad that we. This game I don't mind it. I think it's a tool. I think, I think, like, it, I like think everything else. Can we have an after show? I think that we learned a lot. And really by the way, I hate the fact that this is. I hate it every when I every time I wrote down all the answers. All every time I wrote down all the stuff on these cards, I kept thinking, "This is how we date now." Mm-hmm. This is lit- I have to watch it's out for not. all the okay, things. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. But it's not how no. they date. It's, it's all the ways that no. you get victimized yeah, exactly. trying to yeah, date. Trying online. to date. So it's not how we it's, date. It's That's not how anyone out there should date. Yeah. Your next show, ask us how we really date. Mm-hmm. Instead of asking us to define things that we don't agree with. Those are all ways that it's men are being the, victimized once again, Chris, It's not the things that we don't agree with. It's the reality of how it is. And then that's I don't really see, it is. That's not my reality. It's the reality of how it is. Dating the is no longer the way that we stories about seeing know, dating is no longer the way that we would like it to be. So we but have to live in the reality of, the bus, of how we navigate it now and how we make it through it. That's right, what dating right. is. Uh, that that being said, let's end the show. Let's end the show. Let's end this show and say. We love y'all. We're glad you listened. Mm-hmm. Lord knows at the end of the show, we're all talking over each I, other. I want an after hour show. I'm going to after hours your ass. The, the, night, <laughs> the 90s throwback jam of this week. show. This show is an hour and a half. 
Genuine and Pony. So I think everyone should listen to that. I think, I think we had a really good show, and I think we learned a lot. And I'm really glad that we did this show because I had fun. There was a lot of passion in this show that I did not really that it happened. But I think we learned a lot. Put yeah. it on the radio, crank it and up. I'm so educated now. I'm like a scholar. Mm. Genuine is pony, just, y'all. I am like, I got a that. PhD, you're, bitch. Chris, you're ah. just a horny, drunken guy sitting across the table. Think, That's what you are right now. Don't talk about me like I'm not <laughs> I here. I Chris. I know. I'm, I'm sitting the right guy. here. I'm actually I'm the pretty fucking guy. smart. Yes, of course you are. Yeah, uh, yes, of we course are, you are. You're we are. Very smart. Smart. We all are. I'm not placating you. That's the truth. Oh, so we we're going to end the show by everybody saying good night to the audience. Good night, my We love you. If you ain't going to be good, be good at it. All right. And hello, Sri Lanka. Really? Bring up your numbers. <laughs>